everyone, I'm Ari Meglin here with Rachel Poley and we're your hosts for the Merry Writer Podcast. It is 2022 and we are now on episode 93 and this week's question is what are our goals for 2022? Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast wherever you're listening so you never miss a show. If you enjoy our episode, please do give it a like, write a review, share it with friends. Okay, so New Year. That's usually when people start doing New Year's resolutions and trying new things. And we're not going to do that, but we are going to throw in a few goals. And let's start with some podcasting goals. We did this last year and we had a podcasting goal of reaching 2,000 downloads on Podbean. And we exceeded that. We hit well over 3,000 by the end of the year. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a pretty good, a pretty good run. So I think one of our podcasting goals is to reach 5,000 downloads on Podbean. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But seriously, guys, like the fact that we surpassed our previous goal was kind of crazy. Crazy. So I think we can do it, you know, provided that we have decent content for 2022, <laughs> which I think we do, but it depends on if our listeners think we do. I think it's just the fact that Podbean is the one that does so well. It's like, I had never heard of Podbean before we started podcasting. No, me any neither. Po- no, any podcast I had listened to was on Spotify. The fact that so many people listen on Podbean is pretty impressive. It is. So thank you. Um, aside from Podbean, we are also on YouTube. I mean, our podcast is all over the place, but another big area that we want to approve on is YouTube. In 2021, our goal was to reach 100 subscribers and we didn't get that, but we did gain, but we did gain a lot of subscribers, you know, more than we typically thought. So I think for our goals for 2022, when it comes to the podcast being on YouTube, we want to gain some more subscribers, but we just want to have more of a presence and gain more traction and try to make the podcast as best as it can be on YouTube and pretty much anywhere. I think that'd be good with YouTube, especially because any comments we receive are almost always on YouTube. We don't really get comments on Podbean, but if you're on Podbean, please feel free to leave comments if you have that access. So yeah, it would be kind of nice to get more exposure on YouTube. Not sure how we're going to do that. <laughs> I think one of the other things about YouTube when you say the comments is I think I want to engage more with the writing community and the people and our listeners in general. Um, We do get a decent amount of comments, which is awesome. And but it's always nice because our episodes, they're always based on a question, whether it's genre related or editing related or whatever. So like, we always love hearing your thoughts because as you guys know, we don't really know what we're doing when it comes to writing. So you have to take our advice with a grain of salt. We just kind of float through this whole thing. And uh, we might have some good ideas at some time, at some point, but it would be really awesome to hear what you guys think about whatever topics we're talking about, because it's always good to get more than one perspective. That is a really good point. Yeah, because we're sharing our experiences and things we've learned over the many, many, many years we've been um, writing and, and scribbling and everything so the idea of people sharing their thoughts on how they do those topics would definitely be more helpful not just for us to kind of you know always learn something new but for anyone else listening anyone else reading so yeah do drop more comments we really really want more comments and I, I promise I will get round to sorting them and responding quicker than I have been doing at the tail end of 2021 where I seem to just not find as much time to go on that's that's definitely got to be a a, something I need to deal with better I mean we'll respond at some point believe believe it or not running a podcast is very time consuming it's there it's a lot more work than I ever anticipated when we first started this I also think when you guys comment I love how this turned from goals to us telling our listeners what we want from them sorry guys But also like when you comment, feel free to let us know if you want follow-up episodes to certain topics or if there's anything else you want us to talk about. And I can't guarantee that we will talk about it. We record our episodes in advance and we have a backlog of topic ideas already, but it's always nice to know what you guys want to hear from us and we will do our best to accommodate. Yes, definitely. I actually like the idea of of people putting down suggestions for topics because as, as Rachel said we do have a lot but we do sort of move them around a bit so we might you know, really want to do this topic and then another one will come up that's a bit better like, oh yeah we'll move that one to the top we'll do that one so yeah I mean you might suggest a topic we've already got listed or you might suggest one we've never even thought of and that would be really cool so yeah definitely let's have a bit of interaction that would be good I'd like that yeah yeah exactly 
what is it audience participation that's it <laughs> i mean seriously it's not like we like we wouldn't have this podcast if it wasn't for the listeners true and, and you were so right in what you said about how it's so much more work than we expected it's just just the the start i mean at the startup of it was a really intense amount of work things you had to think about and i honestly thought that was going to be the most intense and then it just like be really free and easy afterwards and that was a mistake because no no it, it does take a lot of time and effort and we do enjoy it though because otherwise we would have stopped a long time ago oh, yeah <laughs> also i think you and i work really well together anyway and we've gotten into such a groove with editing and recording and all that fun stuff that I, I feel like there, there are days where we make it seem easier than it actually is. And then there are some days where it's just super hard, <laughs> but regardless, I think overall the podcast is going wonderfully and I'm really enjoying myself and I hope our listeners are enjoying themselves and they're getting something out of our episodes. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in 2022. Yeah, me too. And I think with that, we're also going to try and have more guests on this year. In 2021, there were a few months where we didn't have guests because things got in the way and we just sort of lost track of, of trying to um, arrange guest episodes because obviously it's not just a case of finding people and saying, right, come on, join us. You know, we have to deal with time zones. We have to make sure that people have all the details they need and feel comfortable on the podcast. But we really would like to open it up to more guests, uh, have at least one guest a month, maybe even a few months where we have two guests because we want to not only bring in other people who can share their experiences, but give these other writers and authors a bit of exposure. And, you know, it's, it, in the end, it is a writing community. We want to help each other. And that is one of the ways we would like to do it. Some of you listening, you might end up with emails or messages reaching out saying, hey, you want to be on the podcast? Right, exactly. Because it's always fun talking to you guys, especially in person, because a lot of you guys we speak to, or I guess we, we text each other through Twitter and Instagram and other social media or our blogs. But it's so different when we're actually speaking to you through the microphone or, you know, if you have your video on, we can actually see your face and finally put a voice to whatever words you're typing out on Twitter. And it's just, it's great. And we can have so many great conversations. And also, like I said earlier, Ari and I, like whatever we say in our episodes, you guys take with a grain of salt, like we're talking about our experiences, but then we have guests that come on and they'll say something that totally blows our minds or they'll share their writing process that we're like, oh, that's a really good idea. I'm going to try that. And if it's informative for us, I'm hoping it's informative for the rest of you guys. So yeah, we're definitely going to try to have more guests on and, you know, talk more about different genres. We're definitely going to have more guests on and talk about all the different genres and editing processes and publishing processes and all that fun stuff. So I hope you guys look forward to that because I am. We're going to learn so much this year. It's going to be great. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah. Then we're going to drag so many people kicking and screaming onto this podcast. It'll be so much fun. Yay. And, and obviously, if we do reach out to you, I think the, the most common comment we receive is, I've never done this before. I'm really nervous so are we seriously we're on what episode 93 we still get nervous when we come on and we do try and make it fun and we do try and make it nice and informal and, and give our guests as much support and help with scripts and details and plenty of time and, and test runs if they need it so you know you can always try it if you you know if we, if we reach out and you want to do it yeah, try it I mean, if any of you guys, I assume if you're listening to this episode, I'm sure you've listened to previous episodes. So you guys know how informal and sometimes crazy we get when we're recording. If you're ever a guest, then by all means, there's no need to be nervous because we're, well, we're kind of nuts. So maybe you should be nervous. <laughs> Yes, you can take it either way. I think it'd be fun to be a guest because you get to see behind the curtain. Because everyone listening to this is listening to the edited version where we sound great and we've got rid of all the annoying things and the, the mess ups because we do mess up. I mean, obviously you've heard that from the blooper episode recently. But yeah, so instead you get to come on, you get to see us and you get to listen to all the nonsense that we cut out of the show because it's obviously just useless. So yeah. See, you get behind the scenes treatment. That's what it is. That is true. That is true. Who wouldn't want behind the scenes of uh, the Merry Writer podcast? We're a delight. <laughs> we are. We really are. 
Okay, I, th- I think that'll have to be the, all of the podcast goals because otherwise, if we add any more, we'll just get a bit crazy with everything and we'll... we'll... Here I am being like, we need to stop talking. <laughs> so that being said, let's go on to writing goals because we love these. Oh yeah, because we, we totally write, guys. We write all the time. Unlike the last ones, I am not going to go over what our writing goals were from 2021. A, I can't remember them, and B, I almost can guarantee we failed them miserably. So we're just going to skip right over that and just bring up the new goal. So for me, this year's writing goals are going to be, I'm going to do intense writing for the first three months of the year. Because I always find if I dawdle too much at the beginning of the year, it sets a precedent for the rest of the year. So I want to kind of treat the first few months of the year as like intense writing constantly, or at least help writing every day would be kind of nice because I've not done that in ages. I would love to finish the first draft of book one of the blessed and finish first draft of book two of the blessed because technically I have actually got a lot of stuff written for book two I didn't realize it because again I write in scenes and it's kind of mishmash and I actually looked at it recently and I actually have more than I thought I had so if I really buckle down I could get draft one of book one and two done I really do believe that whether I actually manage it is another matter but I do think I could do it And I think the final one would be, I kind of want to treat it like a business. I honestly thought I was doing that, but I have not been doing that. Looking back over the last year, yeah, no, no, I did not treat it like a business. Because honestly, if I had been an employee at that business, I would have been fired. Probably for stealing office supplies. But seriously, I would have been fired. So yeah, I definitely want to try and make it a bit more business-like and not just like oh well I'll find sometimes like no I'm going to make time I'm going to sit down at this maybe at the same time every day I don't know but I definitely want to be actually writing regularly like a full-time author would do yes I'm not full-time but you know what I'm never going to get there if I don't keep trying to do this so yeah that's those are my goals and as I'm saying them I'm now terrified that I've actually well overstrained myself but hey never mind we'll try I mean to be fair uh the time we're recording this episode, it is not quite 2022 yet. So when this episode goes out, I believe it's on January 5th. So we're already about a week into the new year. So Ari, how are those goals coming? Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, for real though, like you will be fine and you will do an excellent job. And I will be right there emailing you every single day, unless I forget to tell you and remind you to write or edit or sketch some notes, or do something with your writing. I have to say, that is a really mean thing, because me and Rachel were just discussing how stressful it is, how many emails I get. So her saying she's going to email me every day is actually giving me anxiety right now. Yep. So mean. So mean. (laughs) I mean, I guess I could just go on your blog and comment on, like, every single post that you make and be like, hey, hey, did you write yet? What about now? Did you write now? But I think you'll be fine. You've done it before. You'll be able to do it again and don't make that face. You'll be, (laughs) you will, you'll be fine. And I think treating your writing as a business is definitely the way to go. I think deadlines are, are difficult, obviously, as we all know. And I think self-made deadlines are the worst because there's really no consequences if you don't meet them. But I think if you treat it like a business and you act as though you have customers or employees or whatever, however you want to go about it. And you can create long-term goals and short-term goals for your writing and your business as as a whole. I think it would make it eh, easier, probably isn't the right word, but I think it would make it easier, quote unquote, in the long run, if that makes any sense. But you can put your mind to it. You can do it. I believe in you. Print out that reward chart again. (laughs) The, this this is why we get on so well because Rachel is the best cheerleader for anybody it's like she really is this kind of way too much energy way too much peppiness you know it's, it's the youth that she's still got <laughs> in her 20s while some of us are leaning further and further into the 40s so <laughs> But yeah, oh, you're such a sweetheart. You're such a sweetheart. I feel really wild now. If I fail miserably, I'll uh, I'll feel like I've let you down. So it's my youth. <laughs> Seriously, you're way too peppy. Give it another decade. Well, it's still morning for me, so of course, yeah. yes. I don't know. I mean, I don't practice what I preach, so I have to do this because one of us has to do it. It's not going to be me, so therefore you have to do it. Yeah. No pressure. 
if I'm doing it, you, uh, yeah. I believe we did an episode recently about you and you were talking about publishing 2020. Uh, we did an episode about you too recently, excuse you. Uh, yeah, and I'd like to point out, I didn't ask, I didn't say I was going to publish, you said I was going to publish. So it doesn't count. I know, legit. <laughs> I was thinking about that last night and I was like, why did I say that? I don't know what made me think of it in my head but I was trying to sleep and I was like crap Rachel why on earth would you say that on the internet where people hear you yep. like it's not like you just wrote it out and you could be like oh my cat typed that on the keyboard no you said it it was your voice so many people have heard it now I know I know well you know what I guess that's a good segue into my writing goals and I will lead with that I would like to self-publish my mystery novel in October, I think I said, I think I was trying to give myself the, okay, well, here's what happened. Ah, my knee cracked, ah, that hurt. Holy crap, was that your knee? I heard that. You heard that, that was my knee. I thought you'd like bumped your, you know, like bumped the table or something. No, no, that was my knee. My my kneecap isn't like, I isn't attached. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, okay. that hurt. Anyway, um, on that note, at the end of 2021, I was so excited to get back into writing that I was going to spend the month of October going through my mystery novel and like really outlining it again and going through some edits. And then for Nano in November, I was going to write it, edit it, do whatever I needed to do. And then I got sick at the beginning of October. So I ended up getting nothing done. And then Nano was a complete disaster. So I, I still hit the word count though. I don't know how I did it, but I still did it. But none of it was for my mystery novel. It was all short stories. And I think I only got like one decent short story out of that, but whatever. So now that it's January, I think I, I definitely still would like to try to self-publish by the end of the year. But I think at this point, if I can get my novel ready to, for an editor, like an actual editor, someone that's not me, I think I'll, I'll be happy with that. So even if like the self-publishing part gets delayed, like whatever, at least I'm making progress. I'm moving forward in the right direction and hopefully I'll be able to hire an editor and maybe a book cover artist too. And we'll just see how it goes. But aside from, aside from working on my mystery novel, I just want to, like Ari, I want to get back into a writing routine because I noticed that the Nano website, you can create projects at any time in the year now, even if it's not a Nano month. And I know I usually tend to write best during the nano months because I have the progress bar. So I think I'm going to utilize that website more and try to create projects each month, whether it's writing or editing or, you know, whatever. So hopefully I can get back into a better writing routine. I didn't know that about nano because I have done it once. And I did like that kind of progress bar up until it stopped because I'd stopped writing. But it is a kind of nice visualization for how you're doing. And I like the idea that they, they're allowing it all the time now. That's a, that's not that. Maybe I'll have to go back onto that and have a look at that because, yeah. Yeah, they changed their website. And the reason they changed it was so that people could write like and utilize it all year round. But I could never, I was like, they, they don't have anything unless it's during the nano month. And then the other day when I was on the website, I noticed that it says announce new project and I clicked it and I was like, oh man, you have the option to do a non nano month and you can do it whenever you want. So they did in fact make that change. I just, I was too stupid to realize it. The new website has been up for like a year now, I think. And I'm just now realizing it. But yeah, so hopefully if I can utilize that, hopefully I can get back into a better writing routine. Or no, I will. Not hopefully, I will. I will get back into a better writing routine. Yes. yes. Or in a writing routine. The thing is, you always do so well with Nano. Like seriously. So having that website and the chart and everything throughout the rest of the year, I can, I can totally see you just blazing through. We're seriously waiting. We want to read this book. Okay? We want to read George's story. I want to read it too. Well, then finish it. Send I'm it trying, out. Ari. <laughs> so, but yeah, I think, I think we're probably, because we talk, obviously, we talk all the time with the podcast and that. So we're probably going to be like chewing each other on and accountability, but accountability, but accountability, but I can't say that word. Account accountability buddies. Accountability buddies. Accountability. There he is. Accountab accountability buddies. It doesn't sound as good. Accountability buddies. Accountability. <laughs> accountability buddies. That yeah. actually does have a nice ring to it. Yeah. We're accountability Look, buddies. We're going to be accountability buddies. Yeah, I think that's how <laughs> well, we might actually manage it. We did try halfway through the year. And then, like I said, you got sick, I got sick. 
there was just random crap going on. I think the pan- the pandemic just keeps making things more and more frustrating. And we just kind of sort of slid out of that. But we're going to try that again. We're going to do it this time. And we've said it again on, on, on this. And we've obviously got a lot more people listening now. So it's more embarrassing when we fail. <laughs> yeah. Remember when earlier I said that you guys should comment more? I'm not saying you should do this, but you can comment and be like, hey, how many words did you write this month? <laughs> Please don't do that. That will make us sad. And this is why our comments are moderated. <laughs> that is true. That is true. You can Actually, comment, but we may or may not accept it. To, to be fair, we, the only reason we moderate is because we, especially at the beginning, we got so much spam crap and it's annoying yeah. to go in and delete it. It's better just to kind of have everything moderated and then go through, delete the spam and then all the real ones, you can just like approve them. So that's the reason we do it. And also because, you know, it's kind of, we can be a little, a little bit sensitive. And if you say the wrong thing, it might be like, I'm not putting that on. <laughs> Although we've been good. No one's ever said anything so horrific that, you know, we cried about it. Please don't ch- take that as a challenge. Okay, seriously. <laughs> I think this is a sign we got to wrap up this episode. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Okay. So we've got some podcasting goals. We're going to try and reach 5,000 downloads on Podbean. We're going to try and gain more exposure on YouTube. You can help us with that. If you want to pop over to YouTube and subscribe and maybe leave us a comment or two, that would be really helpful. And obviously download on Podbean too. Uh, we're going to try and have some guests. So, you know, you know, look out. We might be reaching out to you, asking whether you want to join us on the podcast. And hopefully you will. We've both got our own writing goals. Hopefully to finish our stories, either first drafts or up to getting it edited. And yeah, just trying to, trying to actually become writers again. <laughs> Pretty much. And I also want to add that I'm going to shamelessly pimp out our Patreon page. We have new stuff coming to our Patreon page. Um, It's currently in the works. So if you want to check that out and be more involved in the Merry Writer podcast community, you can definitely go on our Patreon page and um, help support the show that way. That would be great. Yes, definitely. And we do actually put stuff on public as well as like, obviously it's awesome if people want to support us but we put stuff up on patreon that's free for everyone to see so you know just have a mooch round anyway you know see what you see what you see and right yeah so it you know if it's not for you that's totally fine but if you like what you see publicly that or that's available for free i should say then uh consider supporting the podcast a little bit and i don't mean to sound sleazy when i say that but i gotta say it (laughs) (laughs) we appreciate each and every one of you Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. With that, let's turn it over to you guys. What are your goals for 2022? We would love to chat about it. So tell us your answers in the comments below. Seriously, leave some comments. We want to hear your comments. If you want more of the Mary Writer podcast, be sure to follow us on Podbean, YouTube, or wherever you listen to podcasts. We are seriously in so many locations you can find us. And as Rachel said, for as little as $1 a month, you can join us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash the Mary Writer podcast for bonus content. It helps to keep our show going and we really, really do appreciate all the support. In the meantime, tune in every Wednesday for a new episode of the Mary Writer podcast where we ask all the right questions. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. This podcast is brought to you by Arguments Over Tea and Coffee. Which side are you on? The music titled Inspired is by Kevin McLeod, licensed under Creative Commons 4.0.